Welcome to our tutorial for the Buffalo Wireless Router WHR-HP-GN. Today we're going to show you how to limit access to certain portions of the internet using this router uh, based upon the filtering system. So what we're going to do first is go ahead and go over to our web browser. I'm using Mozilla Firefox. You can use Internet Explorer. They should work the exact same. Go up here to the address bar and clear out what's in there and we're going to type 192.168.11.1 Go ahead and hit enter once that's programmed in there and that will take you to the Buffalo main splash screen. You should see something similar to this if not the exact same. First thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and change the time to make sure that matches. Yours may or may not match. Go ahead and click on the setup option. It'll prompt for a login. We're going to go ahead and use the same login credentials we used when we configured the router for the first time. If you have not configured the router, you will be granted a splash screen that asks you to change the username and password for the first time. Go ahead and take care of that. And once you're done, uh, you can begin at the beginning of this tutorial. Now we're going to go ahead and click OK, and that will bring us to basic setup page. Down here at the bottom is what we're interested in, the time settings. And we're going to leave the NTP client enabled. You need to change your time zone. It may or may not be set to this time zone. This is the mountain time zone. Um, if it's not, go ahead and drop that box down and select the negative 0700 hours for UTC time zone. Once that's on there, click up save and that will reload the page and then you need to click apply settings. That will take a few moments while it checks that. Now the time up here may or may not change immediately, it might take a few moments. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and go on over to our next part, the access restrictions. And that loads that portion of this up, and this is where we use the policies to block individual access to sites based upon uh, several factors, IP address, router, or uh, MAC address, or even IP range. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and enable this policy since we want it to work. And we're going to name this Blocked Websites. Now we're going to go ahead and edit the list of clients. This is imperative that you do this. And here's our three options. You have MAC address filtering, which is the most efficient and most guaranteed way to make sure it's blocked every single time. There's the IP address range, which works, but the IP address can change. If you have a tech-savvy user, they can force change their own IP address and bypass your blocks. They cannot do that with a MAC address. And you can enter an IP address range and block everything in a particular range. Now that'd be more for advanced users. We're going to go ahead and do the MAC address filtering since that is most secure. You do need to get the machine access code of the MAC address of the computers you are blocking beforehand. So we already know that. We're going to put the machine access code for this one computer here, as for example. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And now we're going to apply the settings. Now remember, every device has its own unique MAC address. So if you are using a computer that is wireless and wired, you need to get both MAC addresses for the wireless card and the Ethernet port. Go ahead and click close here. Now we want to leave this as filter because that will filter individual sites. If you click deny, that will block access all the time. So that will block access during specific time frame, which can be set down here in the time section. But since we just want to filter sites, we're going to leave that at filter. And you can select the days you want it to block, either every day, which is every single day of the week, or you can block it during individual weeks, weekends, just deselect every day and select the days that you want to block. We want to block these every day because we don't want access to them at all. Next is the time. You can either block them for 24 hours, which is all day, which this would be all day every day with these two combinations. We're going to just block it in the evenings, though, because uh, we want our kids to focus on their schoolwork, then play on their games or play on the Internet. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to select, we'll give about 3 o'clock. Now, this is a 24-hour time, so you're going to need to do the math to figure out what time 3 o'clock is. So you can always do this. Here's noon. 1, 2, 3 o'clock. So we're going to go ahead and select from 3 o'clock, and we're going to go all the way to 11 o'clock. Because if they're awake after 11 o'clock, I guess they deserve to be online, but you should uh, probably get them to go to bed soon. Here's the block services. This is where you can block individual access to services. 
Uh, if you click the drop down box, you will find a list of very well known services ranging from instant messaging applications to individual game clients. Um, we also have a problem with our kids playing Xbox Live all the time. So we're going to go ahead and block Xbox Live here. And we're also going to block World of Warcraft because that's a very addicting game. So remember, this only affects those computers that you specify. So if you have an Xbox, you need to get the MAC address of the Xbox and add that to the list of clients. Uh, again, with World of Warcraft, uh, they'll be blocked here. You can also catch every single service by clicking this little box here. That'll get everything in that list, but we don't want to do that now. Next is website blocking by website address, URL address. We're going to go ahead and put in here www.facebook.com. We're going to go ahead and put in www.myspace.com. And we're also going to put in here www.reddit.com because that's a colossal waste of time. You can also block by individual keywords. However, keep in mind, if you block by a keyword, if that keyword happens to be on a legitimate site, it will block that as well. So be careful when blocking words like kittens or puppies, uh, that, or even the word sex. That could potentially block every website, even if it happens to be an educational website, uh, talking about the individual sexes that exist between men and women. So just be careful with the keywords. Pick good keywords. Make sure it's something you definitely want to have blocked. Now we're going to go ahead and click Save to save this rule. And now we're going to go down and we're going to click Apply Settings. Alright, so now we have between the hours of 1500 hours to 2300 hours, or 3 o'clock to 11 o'clock, you will not be able to access those services or those websites. Now, look up here at our system time. It's not that time, so we should be able to access one of those sites. Hey, look at that, I can access MySpace. So we're going to go in here and we're going to change this rule and we're going to make it more restrictive. We don't want anybody accessing these websites from 8 in the morning to... Mm, we'll go ahead and leave that at that time frame. We made these changes, we're going to have to click save to save the changes. Now we're going to click apply settings to apply them. So now it's from 8 in the morning, and it's 9.45, so I should no longer be able to access MySpace. Let's try again, and the connection was reset. That's the router saying, nope, you do not get to access that. So we have successfully blocked access to those websites for that one computer. You can add as many as you'd like. You can base it off of some of the others, experiment, figure out what works for you. You can make additional policies, up to 10 policies. So you can block individual things, you can make some pretty complex rules. And that is all there is to it. Thank you for watching. Remember, our tech support is always ready to help. So if you need further assistance, give AWI Networks a call. Check out our support tab and contact information on our website at awinetworks.com. AWI Networks, connecting your world. Call AWI Networks today at 866-674-0320 or visit awinetworks.com. AWI Networks, connecting your world.